Welcome back. This is still Wine the Morning and uh, we are on to our first conversation. Today we are talking about financial literacy. Well, most of us have, have made uh, some bad financial decisions. Uh, probably because we don't have the right education around this area and that's why we're talking about it today so that we know how to handle our money to uh, to be great stewards or if you like great managers and with us to help us with this particular conversation is uh, Roger Scorch who's an entrepreneur and a young farmer so welcome uh, Rogers thank you so much we're oh, glad to have you uh, so tell us a bit about what you do, because I know you do more than, you know, uh, being a young farmer, you're more than a young farmer and an entrepreneur. So give us the details of it. Thank you. Um, my name is Roger Squatch, and uh, as you've heard, Roger is an entrepreneur. I mm -hmm. founded a company called Okoa Solutions, mm -hmm. which does uh, consulting on organic farming and also uh, selling of inputs, uh, organic farming, and also I'm an agronomist, and apart from that, um, um, I sit mm -hmm. in a committee, Root to Food Alliance, mm -hmm. and uh, most importantly, I'm, uh, I'm the co-founder of Skill Up Inspire, which uh, has led to this conversation. Skill Up Inspire, yes, we'll get into that in just a bit. And Thank you're also you. a founder of? Um, a founder of Okoa Solutions and a co-founder oh, okay. of Tawibora Group Limited. All right, all yeah, right. which is a group of eight. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. what do you do in Okoa? Uh, um, that name, you miss how? Tawibora. Okoa and Tawibora. Uh -huh. So, what do you do? Uh, Okoa is basically consulting and uh, uh, aggregation of inputs mm -hmm. to farmers. Um, Tawibora is the wing that. Uh, deals in uh, manufacturing of organic inputs okay yes so let's get into our topic of today uh financial literacy right yeah. so what is the how would you define financial literacy uh, <clears throat> financial literacy according to me is uh, having that basic knowledge mm -hmm. and uh, being able to make informed decisions about your finances mm -hmm. for example uh, you cannot spend what you don't have. Mm -hmm. So there's the money part of it and there's the consciousness part of it. So uh, there are the basic components. I mean, before you start spending, you have to earn. Mm -hmm. And uh, earning boils us down to income. Income, there are types of income. Yeah. Yeah, the rental. If you have a property, you rent, you get the rental income. Mm -hmm. There are wages, there is salary. There is um, there are so many types so many of incomes. Yes. Income, sorry. Mm -hmm. Then um, we we go to the next part. You have to spend. How are you going to spend it? Are you going just to buy like the youth go buy and muzinga? <laughs> you understand? Sherehe uh -huh. kila siku. You don't have to do that. You have to write a budget. Okay, and we'll get into the steps of how to uh, handle your money. But first, would you, do you think that um, we have enough awareness on how to uh, manage our finances, especially from a younger age? Do you think we have enough awareness? Uh, from the young age, mm. I don't think we have enough awareness because uh, the kind of curriculum that we use uh, in this country, tunatoka to nyumbani, and then we are told, <laughs> we are told, go to school and study. You don't and know how money is managed. Yeah. At school involved, the, our parents didn't really involve us in money matters. So unafika mahali, and then you're earning, and you don't know how to use it because you've, you weren't taught how to be a good manager, right? Yeah, that's why you find that <laughs> mm -hmm. poverty keeps on creeping yeah. each and every day. Mm -hmm. So what should we do? What should parents do? I'm a young youth, you know, who are parents. We have young parents out here. So what, what should we do different to ensure that we are in the right lane? I think uh, the first thing that the youth or any, any other person could do is that mm -hmm. get yourself to that, um, to that table to discuss financial matters with your kids. Mm -hmm. Tell them that you need money, you have to do this, 
you have to go this way you have to you have to work for your you have to work you for want. the money that you mm -hmm. earn you don't have to steal it from someone mm -hmm. and then of after course. getting that money how do you help them know how to spend it because that's where the problem is because we have uh, we have a lot of uh, financial mismanagement yeah i think the first step mm -hmm. as a, maybe as a family i'm also a father i didn't mention that ah, wow yeah um. so uh, what I what I what I will do is uh, when my son grows up is now one and a half years. When he grows up, I'll I'll be involving him in matters finance. If we are doing budgeting as a house, we need to buy food. We need to do this. Those are fixed uh, uh, fixed mm -hmm. uh, expenses. We okay. have to use. We have to sit on the table. We have to draft Enjoy a budget. A he has to see the Is importance of mm. that budget. Okay. And with that, he will appreciate. And the future generation of his will follow through. Follow that. Ah, yeah. okay. So, so. And Astasa, where do we draw the line between two when you're on a, I'm a, to, to it a spendthrift and then the, you know, what, the stingy, and then now the good financial managers. How do you draw that line? When I draw Hapa, I am being a spendthrift. Hapa, I am being a stingy person. Hapa, I am spending my money. Missouri. A spendthrift, uh, by my understanding, allow me to use Kiswahili. Please, feel free. Ni ule anatumia tu pesa. Voila. Anayipata tu hizi. Ikisonga. Imesha songa. And um, stingy person, according to me, is uh, that person who doesn't want to spend on the right purpose. Okay. He just want to keep his money. Akue nazo. Zikue kama maua. How will that help? You don't want to invest in a property. You don't want to invest in something. Mm -hmm. That's what I define as a stingy person. So the right person knows how to create your balance sasa yeah creating Akwa. balance between mm -hmm. uh, what to spend rightfully mm -hmm. of course there is fun you can have fun with a little yeah. and you also include it in your budget mm -hmm. have the receipts also that i have spent this and this and how am i going to recover them afterwards okay sawa so, sawa so. so he attend and bring to your point here you know we all have different mindsets about money why why is it as in why is mindset mindset important uh, on you know financial issue, finan finances rather any kuna mtu mwenye akwa na a bad uh, picture as in a bad imagination about money have a bad relationship with money akiona pesa anasema pesa ni pesa ni kutumiwa ama pesa ni iko na wenyewe afu kuna mwenye akiona as in people have different relationships with money so why is mindset important Okay, maybe I should correct you first. Mm -hmm. There is no one who has a bad relationship with money. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, All no, that. Are you a kuji at all? Uh, are you a kuji? No, a We, oh, no, we can can't say that. Ni kuita futa, wajita futa. But um, maybe what you have said is right. Mm -hmm. Different mindsets about money. You need the money to do what? Maybe you don't have a plan for the money. That's why you have to have a plan. Then uh, you're saying that I need, uh, like in the next 20 years, I need to, to be having this and this. Yeah. But not that you, you want the money when they find it. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. you, what you have to do is to have that plan, the future plan. Then now have the plan where you can start slow. Slowly. Yeah. Okay. That's what ent entrepreneurs do. All right. Yeah. So you'll get uh, to take us through that plan that we're supposed to have because we want to know that you know that uh, those fundamentals or the principles of having you know for someone who wants to start this financial literacy journey. But first, let's take a short commercial break, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 